afternoon. I am coming to you today with a specific dilemma regarding a fragrance. Of course, what else? I am Love and Fragrance and I come to you with recommendations regarding fragrances on this particular channel. I refer fragrances to you, but you know what? I have a dilemma today and this actually will be considered as my first review of a fragrance because most of the fragrances that I bring to you they are re they are recommendations and the reason I bring them to you as recommendations because of the fact that I've tested the fragrance or either I've purchased the fragrance I've worn the fragrance and I highly admire the fragrance and I wear the fragrance all the time and I just wanted to share it with you so I come to you with a recommendation say honey you're gonna love this I'm I have this fragrance let me tell you about it that's what I do when I recommend a fragrance to you I know that a lot of people just attain samples and everything but that's how I learn about a lot of merchandise actually listen to YouTube videos or listen to word of mouth and whenever I discover something based on someone else's opinion and also reading reviews I check it out and that's why I refer fragrances to you based on my recommendations because I'm hoping that you check them out and that's exactly what happened to me in a particular situation here I um, listened to someone else's recommendation in reference to a fragrance and I was under the impression that they were giving me some authentic information and so when I follow up on it everything came together it all appeared to be really authentic information regarding this here particular website and so I investigated it I thought pretty thoroughly and when I discovered that they sold all of the fragrances that I felt that I didn't have my in my possession or in my collection I wanted to invest invest in something those and I was on the hunt for new fragrances and I always wanted something from this particular individual and his name happens to be Tom Ford yes I have samples I have Tom Ford Costa and I sampled it and I liked it but I wanted to try the okay I have the velvet orchid also and it, I love the aroma. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful scent. And not only that, when you apply it to your skin, based on your body chemistry, everyone's not the same. Some things are different based on individual's body chemistry and they react differently. But on my body chemistry, Velvet Orchid was a beautiful scent. It projected itself and the performance on that fragrance was lovely. But now this one, Mr. Tom Ford Black Orchid. When I acquired this fragrance from that website, I was shocked. Not at the fragrance and how much I loved it. I was shocked at what I had in my possession because I didn't know. I want you to know I didn't have a tester. I did want to purchase one from Scent Story and I couldn't get out to any of the stores. Like I said, we were still in the government situation. And so, since we were going through that, I went in blindsided. Uh, honey, I did not perceive that anyone could. Okay, I have a problem with this bottle. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead on. Look at that. I conducted a video. And I presented this fragrance to you in my black bottle video if you look back over my videos you discover that one and it was you know, a nice video i was hoping for more viewers and also more subscribers with that video because who doesn't love top four but i was a little disappointed in the viewers that i received for that particular video but more so than the amount of viewers that i received for that particular video I was more so disappointed in the fragrance, but at that time, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you anything regarding it, except for what I perceived that the aroma was supposed to smell like based on the description. My description of this particular fragrance happens to be obsolete from what I have in this container, okay? 
beautiful container, lovely, gorgeous, oh, elegant, oh, rich blackness, rich, 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 all over. Look at it. Beautiful tassel, nice platinum label and everything. But we take the cap off and we spray a little bit of this on our bodies. I don't have any fragrance. Excuse me. I don't have any fragrance today, but I'm going to spray this. I want you to know, you might know exactly what it smells like, and you don't have a complication with it based on what it's supposed to smell like. But see, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like because I've never possessed this before. And like I said, I don't have a sample. I'm going to try to attain a sample somewhere because I am concerned of this fragrance. I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. It's just that, I, like I said, I have the Velvet Orchard, and when I apply it to my body, Honey, it performs excellent. But this one, this fragrance is a little flat. Too flat for me. I told you, I love bold. And tell me if you're Tom Ford Black Orchard, it's supposed to be bold because this is very light and delicate. And this is a spicy fragrance. Supposed to be very fragrant, spicy, and very fragrant with a wonderful bouquet of fragrant spices applied to it and a lovely projection of aroma. That's why I'm thinking it's maybe have been like watered down a little bit. I'm not sure, but I'm concerned as to whether or not this happens to be a flanker or whether or not someone watered my fragrance down or it's just a dupe. I'm not sure because honey, the bottle feels like it's really full. And most of the time, when I put my fragrance, it don't just water, run all over my body, just run off of my skin. It generally absorbs right into my skin. But this particular fragrance here, it's supposed to be like a warm, spicy aroma applied to water because it has some citric notes in it that are mandarin and lemon. Particularly detect a lemon mandarin smell in here. I smell something like a little bit of gardenias and jasmine, which gives it that white flower aroma. I can smell that a little bit, but I'm concerned as to whether or not the floral arrangements in here, the way the notes are aligned, happens to be adequate with the description of the particular fragrance because I don't smell like the particular exotic spices that much unless it's the blend of the fragrance itself, the way it's blended. But in my perception, if you have a fragrance that has all of those dark notes applied toward it, which are supposed to really be like rich, dark notes, that creates a luxurious, sensual aroma. But with this, I can't say I smell anything. And it also has some black chocolate in it, when it comes to the gourmet notes that are applied in here, you have the vanilla and the dark chocolate, which I do not project in this fragrance. I don't smell any of that. I really don't. It may have a hint of, I would say, some type of spices, but I can't detect exactly which ones. And according to this, they are rich, dark accords of spices applied to this and it's supposed to give it a luxurious sensual aroma but i'm not feeling it i'm not smelling it the scent happens to be exceptionally flat 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 to the point where i am not i don't perceive that this fragrance happens to be legitimate i really don't because I've, there's been so much hype and reviews regarding this fragrance. It has such a beautiful description. And it does, based on the reviews, that the aroma happens to be a warm, sweet, sweet, spicy scent. To me, a warm, sweet, spicy scent would give you a very pleasant aroma, especially with the spices applied to it and with the vanilla and the dark chocolate and all of those there notes aligned together. It's going to be pleasant. I don't find this fragrance to be pleasant. I really don't. I don't find it to be pleasant. And this is my first review regarding a fragrance. And it might sound a little critical. And I really do apologize 
regarding the fact that I have to provide you information regarding a fragrance, that, a collection that I highly admire. But yet and still, I'm a little concerned as to whether or not I have something legitimate. I would say that if I were to dump the entire bottle on me, I might smell something a little bit more exotic. But you know what? My overall perception of this fragrance happened to be that they indicated that there are some wildlife applied to this fragrance. They didn't specify what type of wildlife, but animal wildlife. And you know, sometimes a fragrance originator, the nose of a fragrance, will classify a fragrance with some wildlife in it because they try to incorporate a little wildlife to make it a lot more sensual. But in this particular case, this went a little bit backwards, a little bit too, not sensual, but wildlife. In other words, it smelled like something outdoorsy. Not like the grass, not like the trees, but maybe a, a tree stump. Maybe, yeah, like a tree stump, like a rotten tree stump. with a hint of sweetness. In other words, the sweetness is exceptionally, exceptionally light. And I tried to contact the company to return this fragrance because I didn't appreciate the aroma that I had attained with this one. But unfortunately, I lost my money because I couldn't return it. So in other words, I'm stuck with a Tom Ford fragrance that I have been in admiration and desiring to attain for such an extensive long period of time and now I don't have one. Only thing I can do regarding that is to say, well, purchase something different next time or attain a sample from this here black orchid and determine as to whether or not the sample happens to be consistent with what you have in the bottle because I've discussed it with the website, the agency. I didn't call because they don't have a number for you to call, but you know how you go and chat on there with them. I've chatted with them. I have sent emails and everything requesting that. They send me another um, bottle of this particular fragrance and they refuse to do so unless I purchase another one. And it would be like an even exchange to me, but they don't see it like that. So therefore, I'm stuck with this particular Tom Ford Black Orchard. And I am highly, not necessarily disappointed because I do attain some fragrance. But honey, I'm, I'm the only one that can determine that it's on my body. I'm the only one that can have some access to this scent that I am placing on my body with this fragrance because no one else can walk past me and say, hmm, that's a beautiful fragrance that you have on. Oh, I love your fragrance. No one else can walk past me and say it because it's that light and delicate. There's no performance. There isn't any performance on this fragrance. In other words, it's just sitting there and it's flat, 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 and it isn't distributing, it isn't penetrating, it isn't doing anything. But if I smell like this, I can smell it, but I'm sure if I have to take my nose and get this close to my own skin to have any type of whiff of this particular aroma on my own body, I'm sure that anyone else that may have access to close encounters with me will never detect this fragrance on my body, never. So that's my number one concern today, and that's why I'm bringing it to you, because I find this here Tom Ford fragrance, which I possess, I find it to be questionable. And I want whomever sold this fragrance to me to recognize that you need to investigate the resources that you are distributing to your customers because apparently you may be selling non-authentic fragrances. I don't know. All I know is that I trusted you and now I can't trust you any more. So do, do me a favor and please, you need to shut your website down because you know what? I paid too much money to be treated like this and you took my money and I don't feel like I have received a legitimate product. But you know what? Once I attain a fragrance, I mean a sample of this fragrance, I am going to make a comparison and if I am wrong, I'm gonna give you an advanced apology. 
this here happens to be my advanced apology if I'm wrong about this fragrance not being legitimate or the authentic Tom Ford Black Orchid. I'm giving an advanced apology because I'm going to accept the fact that that's just the way it smells. That's just the way it smells. But I can guarantee you, if it smells like this, I will never wear this fragrance. I don't think I will ever wear this fragrance. I will endure the beautification of this container, but I don't think I'll ever wear it because I am not pleased with the scent. And this here happens to be my first review ever. Jerry, I get, if I'm not pleased with the fragrance, it isn't in my possession. And the only reason this one's in my possession, because of the fact of COVID-19. So I blame this here mishap on COVID-19. I blame this here blind buy on COVID-19. As a matter of fact, I have some more blind buys that I would like to bring to you, but that's another video. But I can guarantee you, this one will be in that video. And I thank you very much for tuning in. And you have a wonderful afternoon. And please, subscribe. Good day.